Story so far? A registered nurse from a small town in Indiana comes to the big city and lands a leading role in a popular series playing a villainess. A soap opera plot? Nope, says Sharon Gabbett, star of The Edge of Night. It's just the story of her life. My experiences as a nurse really helped me as an actress because when people are sick, all their defenses are down. And as an actress, ultimately, that's what you want to capture, people's insides, people's vulnerabilities. For the past five years, Sharon has played Raven, a character audiences love to hate. Raven started out as being one of the biggest bitches on television. And then I decided that I needed to show a vulnerable side. So uh, they began to give her a lot more comedy. They began to make her more vulnerable. They had her fall in love. And uh, the character began to change. And I've been good for about a year and happily married to this guy that I'm madly in love with. And it's just getting boring. So I had a meeting with the uh, producer and the writer uh, a couple weeks ago. And now we're going to start making her like kind of ornery again. you got to get out of the building. No! Yes! You no, the only... I think daytime gives a woman a lot of opportunity to be creative because the producers do listen to us and because we play one character that people latch on to for years at a time. Anne Flood has been on the show 20 years. Years ago, the Procter & Gamble company originated daytime dramas to help sell their soap. Hence the expression, soap opera. Today, they're more popular than ever. Why? Soap operas have changed a great deal to reflect the changes that have gone on in women's lives. They deal with a lot more contemporary issues than they used to. And it's great for the actors, too, because we don't just have to play housewives sitting around drinking coffee and talking about our babies. I think soaps probably are better and more realistic in the way they present women than nighttime television. The money she's paid is terrific, says Sharon, but she earns every penny. Soap opera acting is one of the hardest types there is because it's so quick. A lot of the hour soaps only get two rehearsals before they tape. We're lucky we get five. It's very difficult and the pressure is tremendous. And to do that day after day for years at a time, you know, it's, 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 it's really difficult. And we've had people come on this show who have been big film stars, stage stars, and they come here and you watch them go, you know, and shake, little, literally shake, right before a tape starts because no one is used to working that fast, no matter how good they are. Have I ever forgotten my lines? Yeah, we all do. It's bound to happen. When I first started the show, I used to memorize scripts the night before. When I was first starting and you're very nervous and I'd work on them all day and you know, you'd still almost forget because of the tension. It was when they didn't cut a lot, they didn't edit. So even if you said ridiculous things that made no sense at all, they'd keep them in. I would be so nervous I would knock lamps over, they would keep them in. Now they cut tape and edit, you know, more. Calvin! It can be a lot of fun, yes, but it is a lot of work. People say, oh, well, I'm nothing like my character, you know, yes, I can just drop her. You know, I don't believe that for a second. It's not that easy because if you get emotionally involved with that character, I'm not Raven. I don't do the things she does. The writer writes that. But my emotional inner life is what gives Raven her character, her strength, her spirit. And I can't just drop that and walk out. She does take me over sometimes because she's so emotional and everything. But I would never do some of the things she does. I'm not that kind of a person. I love people and I respect people. We were pretty poor when we grew up, and we had all nine children in one bedroom with about three sets of bump beds. So I learned to live close with people, and, and I get along with them. Raven does not. She doesn't like people. She likes money and power and excitement. Give him ten seconds. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one. And cue him. If I'm in my full Raven regalia, with my makeup on and my hair done and everything, people come up to me and they do recognize me. And most of the time they come up with these big smiles and they go, oh, I hate you, you're so terrible. But they say it, you know, with smiles. When I just walk down the street normally with my hair a mess in the morning and no makeup on and my glasses on, no one knows who I am. It is tough to keep your identity, who you really are, because with all the... The entertainment stuff, the glamour, the makeup, the the characters, the the frenetic, uh, crazy atmosphere, the 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 high pressure. Uh, you lose touch with yourself sometimes, especially when you're working constantly. 
and I find that my stable background has helped me so much. I need sometimes just to sit back in the rocking chair in the front of my parents' house and look at the cornfields and the tomatoes grow and hear the birds and remember who I am. In addition to her work on the edge of night, Sharon occasionally auditions for parts on other shows. It's very strange to audition because the rejection of auditioning again, being on the market, is incredible. And you have to get used to that all over again. It's very scary. I don't get as nervous as I used to. The good thing about being on the soap for so long is it's given me a lot of confidence in myself. But there's still that butterflies, you know. This business is a frenetic, crazy, insane business. Yoga is terrific. It not only tones my body, which I have to keep in good shape in this business, but it is so relaxing. One of the really nice things about working on a soap opera, you're working years at a time with, with a, a group of people and you really become a family. I've had a couple of girlfriends who I've worked with on the show that aren't, aren't even here anymore, but I am very close friends with them. We meet for drinks or get together for parties or go out together still, and it's really nice. I love the fresh air. I run around the park, I roller skate in the park, I ride my bike in the park, I just go sit in the park. It's very renewing. My father was a singer for a country western band with his brothers on the radio, so he taught me to play guitar when I was about 10 years old. And I got a band together about a year and a half ago, which we called Raven. The most rewarding part of what I do, besides the money, <laughs> is the ability to be able to express myself. I think it's probably a very unusual thing to be able to really say what you really feel and to, to stay with your emotions and, and express that. An actor gets a chance to do that, a lot of people don't. <laughs> Woman Watch will be right back 